So how long have you been in Douglas County? I've been in Douglas County 30 years. Wow. So it's a long time. It's a long time. What brought you here? My husband. My husband brought me here. He was, he was out here working for local newspapers mm -hmm. and um, we just moved out here and loved it mm -hmm. and stayed. That's awesome. Well, we're yes. glad to have you here. Thank you. And we're glad to have you on the show. This is Serving's Kitchen with a Cause, a show all about people in our community who are making a positive difference. And today, introduce yourself. I'm Karen Emery, um, Chairman of the First Foundation of and, Douglas County. All right, and we'll talk more about the First Foundation a little bit later. You do, you do more than that in the community, but that's kind of what we have her on the show for today. Now, We'll get more into that, like I said, later, but right now, it's time to reveal what we're cooking. Okay. All right, now she has no idea what we're <laughs> cooking. Uh, underneath here, this is what we call the beach towel of deception. Uh-oh, okay. Under here are the ingredients. So I'm gonna pull this off and you get to, to try to guess what we're cooking. All right. You ready for this? I think so. All right, here we go. What do you think? Oh my goodness. I give you a hint, there are three different recipes. Three recipes. Yeah. Um, looks like maybe some spaghetti. Very good. Okay. That's one of them. One. Um, honestly, I'm not sure about the <laughs> others. <laughs> They're kind of hard. They're kind of hard because what I did was, you know, the first foundation is all about childhood literacy. Yes. So what I did was I took foods or uh, recipes that come out of children's books. Wonderful. So the first recipe we're doing is green eggs and ham. Perfect. But it's, it's going to be deviled eggs. So we're gonna okay. do deviled eggs in a green eggs and ham theme. All right. The second one is cloudy with a chance of meatballs. So spaghetti and meatballs. Oh my goodness. And then the last one we're gonna do is James and the giant peach smoothies. Oh, it sounds delicious. Yes. That's <laughs> I can't wait to try these. Absolutely. So we're gonna reset. <laughs> okay. We're gonna get ready for the first recipe, green eggs and ham. Wonderful. We are all set to do the first recipe. Karen, I'm gonna put you to work. All right. All right, so we've got green eggs and ham, deviled egg style. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to slice the eggs as you normally would for mm -hmm. deviled eggs. Go in half. Okay. And then we will take and put the yolks in the glass bowl. All so right. So you can go ahead and grab okay. one. Here's a knife. Get these bad boys all popped out and in the bowl. And the green part of the green eggs and ham, we're going to actually dye the egg whites green. Oh my goodness. That's right. You get fancy. Now, I had never made deviled eggs before. I've eaten plenty, probably eaten my weight in deviled eggs, but I've never made them before, so this is a first. Well, I'll be watching you because I've been <laughs> making them for a long time. So <laughs> you, know, you know how to do it. Yes, I think I do. <laughs> All right, if you will grab the green food color, this is uh, to prevent, you know, yes. staining of the hands here. All right. So I'll do the dirty work if you want to pour some of that in here. You know, in, in all actuality, this is kind of a disposable dish. So even if I permanently if you, stain it, yes, it's not a it's big okay. deal. This could be a fun little craft project for kids. Well, I I was thinking when you asked me about this, what a, a another perfect way um, to spend time with your children and it be a learning experience at the same time. Right. As far as reading recipes and why you would use certain things uh -huh. in the recipe um, with, and 
family bonding time. Right, and, and that kind of goes along with the FIRST Foundation, yes. right? So talk to us a little bit about what you guys do at the FIRST Foundation. Um, basically, uh, what we do in Douglas County, because FIRST Foundation is um, county by county, um, we try to raise money to enroll as many children as possible. Okay. Um, currently in Douglas County, there are probably, we've identified over 9,000 9, children that would benefit wow. from the program. Um, since this is all based on donations, we have started off small. Um, we work very closely and have partnered with Judge Walker uh -huh. with the juvenile court system to help us identify um, children that would um, most likely benefit from the program mm -hmm. and we enroll a lot of her children that are in the within the juvenile right. court system. Um, we currently have 111 children enrolled and going back to the um, over 9,000 that could benefit from the program mm -hmm. but we just at the present don't have the funding to open it up to anyone right, or everyone right. that would. So it's kind of hand selected. Absolutely at this at this point in time. Mm -hmm. um, so. But maybe with us getting the word out we can get more donations, we can expand the, the I foundation. would certainly hope so between uh, donations and as well as we need community action team members right. to help us get the word out mm -hmm. um, because quite honestly I didn't even know about First Foundation until I was asked right. by high school senior to help her start a literacy program. Awesome. That's how I got involved. And is that Ansley Daniel? Yes. Yep. Yes, it we is. We know her really well. Yes. She, she volunteered and, and interned with us, so we know her you really know. well. You know. Great, great girl. Absolutely. Um, now, you guys, childhood literacy, you're, you're giving kids books. We're giving how does that kids work? books. Um, when a child is enrolled in the program, and they can be enrolled at birth, um, they are registered and then we operate under the Madison office nonprofit status and so they actually do all of our mailings. The child is enrolled in the database and like mm -hmm. I said every month they receive a book free of charge in the mail. Uh -huh. In addition to that the with going along with our literacy initiative, we also send out a parent's newsletter with each book to help the parents um, way, with ways to interact with the child, right. um, you know, activities they can do with the, that are book specific, mm -hmm. um, that type thing. So, so this um, isn't just about, you know, giving the kids books and reading and that kind of stuff. It's also about families interacting. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. That's great. Yes. Yes. It, you know, I mean, it just better prepares them uh, and helps to give them a stronger foundation. Mm -hmm. And we got a little sidekick down there yes. who's a little hungry. But you can't have any. No, no, no. No eggs for you. Tape it. Get I on like out of here. <laughs> so we're going to let these dry on the rack right here. Okay. Uh, they look beautiful. They so do look beautiful. Set these over here. And now we will work with the yolks. Okay. Um, and I'll grab my recipe so I know exactly how much to put in. All right. We need to put in a quarter cup of mayonnaise. So let me grab a quarter cup back here. There we go. And a tablespoon of mustard. This is kind of like the base, the liquid base with the mustard and the mayonnaise. Yes. Not that I've made this before. <laughs> Sounds good, you're, right? You're doing a good job. <laughs> um, and then we can kind of mash this up, get a spoon. Okay. If you want to start mashing that, I will grab the ham. Open this up. And this is fully cooked country ham. And it's it's got a little bit of... of uh, 
salt in it, as most people would know with country ham. Right. So we won't need to add any salt to the uh, to the yolks. All right. We can, however, add a little bit of pepper. And there's some pepper over there you can kind of okay. add to taste. And also uh, a little paprika. Yes. I'm not sure I've ever had deviled eggs with ham, but. <laughs> yep, this is so, gonna be a new one. It'll be good. That's probably good right there. And the dogs have come out they, for the ham. <laughs> They're smart dogs. Yeah, they know what's up. This ham smells really good. I know, so, let's set the eggs. And there is pepper on the very that's what I was looking for. I'm gonna throw some. Go of right ahead. Now we've also got uh, onions, green peppers, and carrots. So you don't have to add these, or you can. You can add whatever you want. I mean, you know, there are no rules. Right. So I'm just gonna add a little handful. All right. Of green peppers, a little onion, and then just a little bit of carrot. Adds a little bit of vitamins and minerals this in there. It's like a meal you know? right here. Yeah, yes. Nice. That's pretty. It is pretty. So we are ready to fill these bad boys. I'm going to place these in the little holders. Okay. Now, I don't think we have enough to fill up all of the spaces, but. It's all right. We'll do the best we can. They're nice and pretty. They are pretty. I don't know if I've ever eaten anything that green before. Well, I've never seen anything that green before, especially in egg white. <laughs> Not in nature. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. So I'll get another spoon so we can kind of get a little spoon. Yeah, push yeah. it back in there. <laughs> Maybe a couple little spoons. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna let you show me how to do it. Well, you look like a woman who has done this before. Quite honestly, I have have made my <laughs> fair share of, of deviled eggs. All right, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna get my hands green because I have to pick them up to oh, stuff yeah. them. All right, because you kind of have this to is just stuff art. them down. This is an art. Okay. And it's just very easy. You just stuff them. Looks really good. They look delicious. What happens if you run out of stuffing? Well, then you kind of have to go back and rob yeah, some. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, this is this is like filling up the muffin tin. Right. You got to guesstimate. That's exactly right. And hope you have just. A and it's left never, <laughs> never, <laughs> never. It's not an exact science. I no. don't think. Definitely the most we're gonna be good. Colorful thing I've ever made. Yes, before. this is this is perfect to go along with childhood literacy. A great project. I think I put too much on that. Oh, I don't think you can ever have too much. <laughs> <I> said, <laughs> good point. How about that? I think you're just right Man, on the money. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Yes. Those look great. Yes, they do. So we're gonna put these in the refrigerator. Okay. Let them chill while we're making the rest of the recipes. And the next thing we're going to make is the cloudy with a chance of meatballs, spaghetti and meatballs. All right. We are ready to start some meatballs. All right. So I do my meatballs the same way I do my hamburgers and my ground beef, and my meatloaf rather. So start with obviously ground beef, ground mm -hmm. pork, ground turkey, whatever you want to do, and then you add eggs and some seasoning, breadcrumbs, and then we'll shape our meatballs into small enough balls that are going to cook quickly and okay. can be eaten 
fairly simply in, in spaghetti. All right. So you ready to get started? Yes. I'll do the dirty work and open okay, the, uh, good. the ground beef. Okay. And behind us, we've got some water getting ready to cook the, uh, the spaghetti. We've also got a, our marinara simmering. All right. And that's what we'll put the meatballs in after we brown them. Okay. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit of parsley. Mm -hmm. That looks like enough there. We're gonna add two eggs. And we're also going to add breadcrumbs. So if you wanna add the breadcrumbs, you can go ahead and do that. How many and would you like to add? I just do, you know. You're just gonna watch yeah, while I do know. this and you telling me? Yeah, a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more, perfect. Okay. And then we can add some uh, Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna grab a towel. Okay. Say when. Good, awesome. Okay. Salt and pepper. Okay. We've got the pepper grinder, and then in the tin right there is where the salt is. Awesome. I'm gonna grab one of these for the okay. garlic. One more. Yeah. All right, I'll do, that's about a, a, a clove, All a right. clove, a clove and a clove Ooh. right there. Okay. So about four cloves is what I like to do because this is a lot of a lot of meat. Right. You want your meatballs to be pretty strong, you know, okay. a lot of flavor. So I'll get in here and Good. mix it all up. Are you gonna make make the meatballs with me? You gonna get Certainly. dirty? All right. Good. Yes. So how long have you been involved with the first foundation? Um, we actually started the program in Douglas County um, through, well, we started three years ago, but when we started, we were um, part of the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. Okay. After working with them for a year, um, we were approached by First Foundation, and since it was a Georgia-based program, we felt like it better suited the needs of the children of Douglas County. Right. So we changed um, over to um, First Foundation. So two years ago okay. um, is actually when we got involved with the First Foundation. Um, and we have been very blessed to have um, many in the community that have supported us, civic groups. Mm -hmm. um, you know, different organizations that have donated to the cause because they see the importance right. of the program. Yeah, I know studies show that the earlier you get kids exposed to books, the better. Absolutely. And, and truly the sad thing is, is that 35 to 40 percent of children that um, start kindergarten are not prepared. Um, because they haven't had the exposure right. to um, reading books, anything of, of that nature. And unfortunately, the studies have shown that um, if they aren't reading at the proper level by the third grade, mm -hmm. um, the majority of those children never graduate. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, we recently had... Uh, representatives from the Junior League on and uh -huh. they were saying the same thing and there they used to do books for third graders uh -huh. because of that but then they realized well if you're giving them books at third grade that's too late exactly I mean, so, you mean they need to be exposed to yeah. them and reading um, as you know early as possible mm -hmm. that's why we started at birth mm -hmm. and you know have those age appropriate books mm -hmm. so yeah, the, the earlier the better. The and, earlier and reading, the better. Reading to your children before they can even read. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, but you know, the nice thing is, is that because we do do the age appropriate ones, um, it starts off a lot with pictures, so you right. have that you know recognition um, at a young age, and then they progress right. year by year. So. Um, 
had a lot of success. The first foundation mailed its first book actually in 2000 um, out of Madison County. So we're at a point now that we can actually do some studies uh -huh. um, and, and see the positive results. Been doing it long of these, Yes, yeah. of these children um, that have been enrolled in the program. And the just um, the children that we've had through the juvenile court system, the parents are so appreciative mm -hmm. of our efforts to help them with their child's educations. Right. Um, it's, it's just been very rewarding mm -hmm. in that respect. And so, and so I, I'm guessing that's kind of why you got involved. I got involved because, like I say, because Ansley asked me to help her with the program. Mm -hmm. I perfectly honest, it wasn't my passion to begin with, but right. as I got into it and starting to see different statistics and everything, it it became my passion, especially after visiting the court system right. and seeing some of the recipients of some of these books. It's just been amazing. Good. So. That's awesome. It's yeah. good to see that what you're doing is actually helping. Absolutely. You know, getting that feedback. Absolutely. And if you want to get involved, how can they get involved? Um, we have a link on the county website. Okay. That um, it's it's under the Douglas County website under programs under First Foundation. There's a donation link. Also, my um, phone number, email address. If you'd be interested in becoming a community action team member, we would love for you to help us spread the word. We do fundraisers and that type thing to raise money as well as we need grant writers and, mm -hmm. and that type thing, people that are experienced in these areas. Right. Um, we've basically been operating with three board members for over three years now. Yeah. Um, and just because we've had some really good people advising us we've mm -hmm. um, like I say we've been able to now enroll over a hundred children which wow. we're very proud of that's awesome so but we'd like to be able to open it up and enroll yeah. the 9,000 that would enrolled. benefit yeah. from the program yeah. yes so. well that's great that gives you yes. a, a, a bar to reach absolutely and anybody out there who is willing to help they're willing to accept your help so get involved now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to take these meatballs and okay. I'm going to brown the outside, add them to the marinara. They're going to simmer in the marinara for about 30 minutes. Uh, the we'll get the spaghetti sauce ready. But when we come back, we're going to do, while we're waiting for it to simmer and be ready, we're going to make our James and the Giant peach smoothies. Sounds wonderful. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Now I've been looking forward to making this recipe, James and the Giant Peach Smoothies, because I love smoothies, yes. love peaches. How do you feel about peaches? I love peaches. Good, great. <laughs> then we picked the right recipe. Yes. All right, uh, I'll do the first ingredient. Okay. We'll go back and forth if you want. It is a cup of milk. Now you can do this smoothie, low fat, you know, all that kind of stuff, but today we're just doing a regular one. Okay. All right, now we need three quarters of a cup of yogurt. So I've got a half a cup uh, measuring cup right there, so we can do one and a half of those. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, this is, you know, we're just estimating. Awesome. All right, okay. and we need just a little, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, so that looks like a teaspoon. <laughs> that looks good to me. Yeah, it looks good you to know. me too. And now the recipe I found did not call for brown sugar. However, I found that peaches and brown sugar, amazing. Oh, I haven't tried that. Oh my it goodness. It sounds good. I do uh, grilled peaches with butter and brown sugar. They're really good. Oh, goodness. So this is kind of based on that okay. recipe. So we got a little bit of brown sugar, and we have about two cups of peaches we're gonna add. Okay. That looks like about two cups. And then a handful of ice. And then it gets really loud. Cause we gotta, we gotta blend yeah. this up. I have to blend it. That's about a handful. 
and I, you know, I made my own crushed ice. It's easier to crush it first before you put it in there, or it doesn't really chop up very oh, well. Oh, okay. So I just smacked that in the bag and crushed it all up. All right, it's getting loud. I think that's good. It looks good. I got us some fancy glasses all right. to, to taste our smoothies. Okay. Oh good. goodness, it looks delicious. There you go. All right. Cheers. Mm, cheers. That's delicious. I can drink that every morning. This is delicious. That is really good. Absolutely. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's gonna go well with our our spaghetti mm -hmm. and our, our deviled eggs. Kind of a weird mix of stuff, but we are basing them on book recipes. Exactly. So we're almost ready for the spaghetti. We're gonna kind of come back, we're gonna plate everything, and we're gonna try it and make sure we did a good job. Sounds great. We'll be right back. I'm drinking more of this. This is delicious. <laughs> The moment we've been waiting for, yes. we get to try our dishes. Which one you want to try first? Spaghetti? Spaghetti. Okay, let's do it. Break off a little piece of meatball. Yes. Try to get some spaghetti on wonderful. there without, you know. I know. Making a big mess, but I don't think that's possible. <laughs> All right, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Those meatballs are delicious. Yeah, we did a great job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect size, too. Absolutely. Perfect size. Oh, my. So that's our Cloudy with a Chance meatballs, spaghetti meatballs. And now the radioactive uh, <laughs> <laughs> eggs. I'll let you taste one. Grab one there. Okay. These are our green eggs and ham. These look wonderful. Deviled eggs. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those two are delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and that is like a meal because you get the, the chewy salty yes. from the, the, the ham. These are very good. Yeah. You got the peppers, onions, carrots. That is a, little a meal. Meal and right an there. egg. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for inviting me. Yes. First Foundation, if someone wants to get involved, how can they do that? Um, they can contact me. Um, and all of my information is on the Douglas County website um, through Douglas County Happenings or the Douglas County. It's listed under Programs. Um, all of my contact information is on there. Um, I would love to speak with anyone that might have an interest in helping us spread the word about childhood literacy um, and the benefits and just to help us get the word out, um, raise more money so we can enroll more children. Right, because you need volunteers but you also need donations yes. because you guys are 100% supported by yes. donations and fundraisers. Absolutely. So if you want to donate or you want to help with fundraisers or you want to volunteer, please get involved. Stay involved with the community. Get out there and do something positive. Thanks for watching Servings Kitchen with a Cause. We'll see you next month.